<laughs> nice. How many chapters until the part switches, I wonder? Probably like 10 at this point. That feels like a nice This number. was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Cogniti made his move. Okay. <laughs> the dude who's like this little piddly little mobster flunky, essentially. Like, I guess he has his own henchmen, but he clearly is not the dude in charge. Managed to stick the landing with a bullet in his stomach. How'd he get all the way over there so fast? Where's his gun? <laughs> this rooftop chase is fun, though. Not gonna lie, I like it. Or it looks like it'll be fun. Chasing him across the Oh, I fell off. I fell off because I suck. I'm gonna have to watch the comic panels. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I do really enjoy the comic panel thing. I think it's a good way to get the point across. When the train he was riding slowed down, Cogniti made his move. Like, come on, this dude has been established to be a chump. There's no way he could pull that off. He'd have to do... He would have to roll through it there. I don't buy that for a second. Max Payne, on the other hand, he could have done an extra flip and I'd believe it. Okay, so is he has he got a handgun? Or Okay, it's a handgun. Why does it look like he's holding a rifle when he's holding that? Okay, let's not fall off this time. Uh-huh. You just got your buddy too. Oh jeez, that guy. That guy was coming for my blood though. Oh man. Oh, I'm not a painkiller, so this could be bad. Alright guys, it's, we're in the danger zone because I'm, I'm nothing but raw skill now. So as soon as I'm met with any kind of confrontation, I'm gonna be toast. Alright, here we go. I hear bolts and copper. Oh, oh, it's from over there. Okay. Police chopper. Oh man. NYPD, you on the roof. Drop your weapon and lie down. I repeat, yeah, I drop like your that. weapon and lie face down. Oops. It's pain. He's coming down the stairs. Shoot the bastard. Okay, boss. You got it. No trouble. Well, I see some painkillers behind the painkillers. Okay. Right. I was gonna say, if I can just survive this, I'll be set. Because there's health drops incoming. Boxes broke. I mean, I'm not, my feelings aren't too hurt because you know the the uh, the 
shotgun ammo is plentiful anyway. Wow, get a hold of your thoughts. I'll be taking those, and then taking those. Uh, well, at least I have like a full, well, my ankles are still bad, but you know. Ice hard and slick. Oh. Wow, that guy. Okay. He's been the most stormtroopery dude I've come across so far. That guy got a couple shots on me, I think. Yeah, the stormtroopers versus Han Solo, I feel like Max Payne isn't even looking half the time when I tell him to shoot. <laughs> He's just kind of no-look blasting. It's probably just because of the PS2 game, that it looks like he's holding his gun like an idiot. But it looks like he's holding on to the top of it and not like in a tactical way, like you know, I you hold on to it and have to like pull the slide back and all that. If it were to be like that, it looks like he's like holding on to it in a different way. <laughs> it's because of the way the model is, it's just weird. <laughs> Who's shooting in here now? Is that not what I do? I didn't realize that R2 also like gave you a roll. what this is. I didn't know what that was exactly. I thought it was like, I don't know. I'm not sure. It seems like some kind of scaffolding for the building. Like one of those things that, you know, I don't know. But it didn't seem like it would be something I could call down to me. So now I figured that out. That's a good, solid. How do I make it go back up? I'm in the elevator. Go up, please. Um, oh, there it is. There's the control panel. <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I've got people shooting at me and I barely have any health left. Oh, he's over there. You're a jerk, and you got me with your stupid... Oh. oh, I'm still alive, and I am red as all Jesus now. Um, I don't know where those death groans were coming from, but that's cool. This feels like it would be a famous shot, like, if it panned out the other way. I'm real glad that guy missed me. Do I regen health? Do I just suck at noticing that? Like, periodically? Is it nice? We're gonna be rich! Freaking rich! Even richer than that, wise guy! Freaking, freaking rich! Alright. 
Sorry, I clicked off of my timer. Alright, so I don't know if that's full. Is this the Valkyrie stuff? Right? Oh, that's a door. All a blur. Appreciate you reloading for me, Max. You're really helping me out here. Can't go that way. You know, if as often as I stop to watch TV, Max Payne it takes has me nowhere to left to go. We are very me. close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Brevera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Brevera to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. Mm -hmm. Can I get a painkiller, please? Hmm, that's weird. This trail of blood went down there. Was this guy crazy? Is he just talking to himself? Oh, there they are. I somehow managed to miss the other dude, which is a bit disappointing. Ow! Oh, good guy! <laughs> he just came around the corner and shot me in the face. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, man. Good stuff. Cracked me up. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get going, huh? Thankfully there's painkillers in that cabinet. Otherwise this would be a little harder to manage. I'm not gonna bother watching that again. <laughs> I like how I caught that dude in the middle of his rolling animation, so... I got them both that time. Oh, that was a grenade that got me. It wasn't the shotgun guy. I was standing on a grenade. Okay. I thought the dude with the shotgun just came out of nowhere and shot me. As dudes with shotguns tend to do. I feel like they threw the grenade quicker this time. Like normally I have a second between killing them and like the last time it was it felt like I had a second between killing them and then um then I heard the grenade drop after I killed both of those guys. 
And I just didn't respond fast enough because I didn't realize it was a grenade for the first couple of times. But that time, when I knew the grenade was coming, it seemed like it got, <laughs> it got thrown f sooner, so I didn't have time to respond. You know, the benefit of dying and reloading and knowing where uh, goons are, man, <laughs> grenades. I should really make use of that R2 but roll that I uh, kept doing by accident earlier, huh? Or just dodging, or the slow motion dodge even. But like, the idea of having the benefit of knowing where goons are because you die and reload is an interesting concept that they explore in a Katana Zero. And I really liked that about that game. I really liked a lot of things about that game. It curated the cool world and had a very satisfying gameplay to go with it. Alright, I'm gonna do that so the chopper guy is out of the corner. Even though we didn't get the chance to shoot this time. <laughs> 